My name is Eileen Lam, I'm a mother of three children. Two of them are on the spectrum, and my youngest is almost a year old. One of them, Charlie, has a level three autism, also known as profound autism. I'm the director of uh, social media and influencer marketing at Autism Speaks. I mean, we have a script. We're just trying to represent the spectrum as, as well as we can and to give a voice to, to everybody. Even though Jude is the younger brother, he's always acted like the big brother. I mean, he was diagnosed but level one like me. You know, if Charlie could, Jude would love to play with him because he loves interacting with people, playing with friends. And I even caught a Pikachu in an Eevee costume without a head. That must be a pretty rare find. But it's not possible. Charlie can be really hard as a brother sometimes. Like, I can play with him and Billy, but, but something I can talk to. Yeah, I can talk to him. Honestly, it's really hard every day to have to take care of Charlie. You know, he's wonderful and I love him. He has a lot of very severe, challenging behaviors, some of which are life-threatening. The biggest one right now is uh, Pika. She's a compulsive urge for Charlie to put non-edible objects in his mouth. Pretty anything. He can't help it. And he doesn't understand that it's dangerous. We realized around 18 months old that Charlie was different. Autism Speaks funded the creation of the online MChat, which is an assessment that asks you 20 questions any score above three tells you that there is a risk for autism. And Charlie scored like 18. Charlie wouldn't have been diagnosed that early if it wasn't for the M chat. We really wanted that autism diagnosis because ABS therapy, which is um, therapy for autistic children that teaches children on the spectrum skills like communication, self-care, that's only covered by insurance if you have an autism diagnosis. Charlie, which one do you cut with? Yeah, the scissors. Bedroom. Yeah, that's your bedroom. ABA wow. is working on skills like self-care and without ABA therapy, I mean, I don't know what we do, honestly. You know, they taught Charlie how to communicate using an iPad. I want more pretzels, lunchbox. That is a lunchbox. It's all play based and it's all tailored to his needs. Right. Two, three. He loves it there. To me, the most important thing was that people realize how broad the, the spectrum is and, you know, caregivers are not saying this is hard because they're martyr. Like, this is 
real. And that self-advocacy is amazing if possible, but it's not always possible. So yeah, it's important to give autistic people a voice, but what do you do when autistic people don't have a voice of their own? You go to their caregivers. I want more scientific research into some of the very challenging behaviors that can come with autism. And for that, we need, we need more funding. Autism Speaks advocates for changes by raising awareness, by sharing stories of autistic people and of caregivers. And that's by showing the reality of autism. And cheese for Jude, but you get pepperoni. Yeah, that's just It's difficult to think about, so it's more about taking it one day at a time. And as taboo as it is to say, this is a hard life, and we need we need help.